OBX Live, and we're in historic downtown Manio at the Lost Colony Brewery and Cafe with owner Paul Sharon. And today we're going to talk about beer. My favorite subject. Yeah, it's and, very and, easy. And one of my top three. Uh, Paul, let's do the first thing. When things really shut down and, and completely, y'all went to delivery. How'd that go for you? Delivery was really nice. We had um, a lot of our uh, true blue customers call us up and supported us all the way through until we had time to open back up. But now that we're open, we don't have time for home deliveries. Maybe in the future. Uh, it was a great idea, and it got a lot of us through isolation, I think. <laughs> it helped out a whole bunch. I saw a lot of happy faces when the beer ranger showed up. All right. Now, let's talk uh, a little bit about what's going on at the brewery. It's, it's open now. You've got it's customers. And... Uh, What's, uh, I'm going to go through, what's the new beer that's coming out? What okay. have you been up to? Normally, because we're a British style brewery, we don't come up with many new beers. But this year we've decided to come out with a uh, English wheat beer. It's a uh, kind of a little uh, riff on a, uh, riff, uh, a wheat beer. It has uh, no banana or clove flavors, just a real crisp, fresh wheat flavor. And when's that coming out? I think it's, it's starting today. Awesome. That is great. I love wheat beer, so I'll have to try that maybe before I leave. Uh, I was going to, I always ask every every uh, brewmeister and, and, and at the restaurants, what's your favorite? My favorite is our uh, Bucks and Brown Ale. It's the beer that started the whole brewery. It's the reason why I started brewing. That's I wanted the perfect British brown ale. Raleigh Buxton Brown Ale, for those that, that are looking that up and if you're looking on Untapped or something like that. And also, what's the favorite among the customers? Uh, our number one beer is our Kitty Hawk Blonde. It outsells everything. You opened a brewery in Stumpy Point, probably a place no one's ever heard of, <laughs> and, and you're, you're making beer there. Tell us a little bit about that operation, what it's done to your capacity. Well, we were a very tiny brewery. We were doing maybe uh, 80 gallons at a time when we brewed. Uh, Stumpy Point had uh, reverse osmosis water, which is extremely pure water. It also had uh, septic. We needed both water and septic. And then we found a 10,000 square foot facility so we could brew in that. So we went from 110 square feet to 10,000 square feet. And how much capacity does that give you? Uh, well, we brew now, we do uh, 1,200 gallons at a time. Okay. And, and so you put it in cans and... Where it's in kegs and cans right now. And locally, if you're watching this, where can you pick them up? We don't have enough time to list. Almost every bar that has taps or serves beer has our beer. There you go. And any retail outlets where you can pick it up, or do you have to? Uh, you can go to any of the brew throughs, uh, Foodorama, Piggly Wigglies, Fresh Market, Cahoons, any mom and pop store is going to have us in there. That's excellent. Uh, anything else you want to talk about? Any any new ideas coming up? Uh, well, new ideas. We're kind of the reverse of new ideas. We're old ideas. What we do are British style beers and we brew an exact replica of all the great uh, British beers. So our hops come from England, our grain comes from Ireland, our uh, yeast is from a defunct British brewery, and our water, what we do is we profile our water. So when I say that, what it means is we take the Stumpy Point water, we analyze it, and then we find out what the mineral content is, and we change that mineral content to match the area that the beer originally came from. So when we brew a, a stout, the water is an exact match to Dublin's water. All right. And I'm going to look. What do you have sitting there? Is that your? This is Buxton Brown Ale. Buxton Brown Ale. And I've got the Hatteras Red, which is excellent also. Uh, really enjoying it. Nice, crisp, clean beer. And that's what we're for. We, we want you to sit down and enjoy. We call them sessionable beers. We want you to come out, sit down with friends, drink some beer, and relax. There you go. All right, I think that will wrap it up, and we will see you on the next OBX Live Buzz. Sure.